Once upon a time, on a mountaintop, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars and said, I want to hold treasure. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I'll be the most beautiful treasure chest in the whole world. And the second little tree looked down on a small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean and said, I want to be traveling mighty waters and carrying powerful kings. I'll be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and women worked in a busy town and said, I don't want to leave the mountaintop at all. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they'll raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I'll be the tallest tree in the world. Well, years passed. The rain came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. And one day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. And the first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, this tree is beautiful. It's perfect for me. With a swoop of his shiny axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful treasure chest, the tree said to himself. I'll hold wonderful treasure. And the second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It's perfect for me. And with a swoop of his shiny axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship for mighty kings. And the third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked at her, looked her way. And she pointed, she stood tall and straight and tried to point her way to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. He said, any tree will do for me. He muttered, and with a swoop of his shiny axe, that third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought her to a carpenter's shop. The carpenter fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold, nor treasure. She was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took her to a shipyard, but... No mighty sailing ship was made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. She was too small and too weak to sail on an ocean or even a river. Instead, she was taken to a little lake. And the third tree was really confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted was to stay on the mountain and point to God. Many, many days and many, many nights they passed and the three trees nearly forgot their dreams. You ever done that? You almost forgot your dreams. And one night the golden starlight had poured over the first tree as a young, a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful. And suddenly the first tree knew. He knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. Hallelujah. And one evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. And the traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. She knew she did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and the rain. The tired man awakened and he stood up and he stretched out his hand and said, Peace. Glory. The storm stopped as quickly as it began. Thank you. 
And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. And one Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked and forgotten with her. And she flinched as she was carried through the angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled Hallelujah. with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love yes. had changed everything. Hallelujah. And it had made the third tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. Hallelujah. And that was better than being the tallest tree in the world. Yeah. The next time you feel down and you're like, I don't, I've lost my dreams. The Lord, but God, I wanted to be this thing. Remember, God's got a bigger plan for you. Yeah. And it's going to be even bigger than you originally imagined. Psalm 1 3. He will be like a tree firmly planted by the streams of water, with ye which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. He will be like a tree planted by streams of water. of God. That was 1 Peter 4, 8 and 11. You can check it out yourself. But that, so I looked up that word oracles. I'm like, what does that mean? Oracles of God. And so the Greek says it means an oracle, divine response or utterance. It also, as oracles of God, it means speaking life. It means speaking life, Hallelujah. speaking positivity, speaking fellowship and building up one another. Yeah. Like the, the Bible says, speaking to one another, what is that, God speaking in Psalms, 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hear me, spiritual son. Speaking as oracles of God. And that's, that's, some people say, oh, you're a prophet, you're prophetic. That's what we're talking about. Like the New Testament prophetic type thing is oracles of God. There, there were, there were, there were some that think they read like the Old Testament prophet that, that are trying to, that God sent to convict, convict the, the hard people of the time. And they just, they just call out sin and, and, and they, they speak down. The Lord's given us his Holy Spirit and we're in a new time, a new, a new wine. And now the prophetic is for encouraging and building up and speaking yes. like the oracles of God. I remember a man one time he said he was going to give a spiritual test. He said, oh, if your gift is a prophet, then that means you're really good at spotting sin in other people. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, all you need for that is one eye and your breathing. <laughs> That's not a gift. That's a That's right. The Bible says speak as oracles of God. Speak in his word. Building people up. Yes. Building love. Eagles fly. The buzzards, and, and the eagles fly and they look. The buzzards are the ones that are looking around for dead, rotten carcasses. We're not called to be a buzzard. That's right. Hallelujah. We're an eagle. Yes. Rising above the storms. Yes. Ministering as God supplies, giving up in our own power. Proverbs 18 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. The speaking. Death and, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and right. those who love it will eat its fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Death and life are in the power psalms and hymns and songs from the spirit sing and make music from your heart to the Lord yes. and so the, the Lord is really in this week <laughs> this week <laughs> if it was any but amazingly God speaking to me in the excitement the he wanted to worship he wanted the whole place. He's raised up a level. 
and, and why. And, and speaking from the Spirit in the Scripture says, from the Spirit, pneumaticos, meaning relating to the realm of the Spirit, the invisible sphere, which the Holy Spirit imparts faith. That's where we get the power. When we pray and when we're with the Lord and we start speaking, it comes from the Spirit. We speak life right into somebody. Right into them. Right into them. Proverbs 15, 4, a soothing tongue is a tree of life. <laughs> a soothing tongue is a tree of life. That tree firmly planted by the waters and the fruit and the branches the words that we use it flows out through the heart Proverbs 15 4 a soothing tongue is a tree of life there's trees in heaven and we're going to see trees in heaven they're trees of life lining the river to heal the nation Revelation 22, and I don't usually quote out of Revelation. Then he showed me a river of life. Then he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God Glory. and of the Lamb in the middle of its street. On either side of the river was the tree of life, Hallelujah. bearing 12 kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations there, and there will no longer be any curse and the throne of God and the Lamb will be in it and his bond servants we will serve him we will stand like trees and we speak out with words that break the curses this is what it tells. We stand like a tree and we speak out words and we break curses. We speak out words and we heal the nations. And we speak out words and we heal families. And we heal the broken. And we heal the sick. And we heal the brokenhearted. And we breathe life and revival. Speaking blessings of spiritual power to become a mighty tree of life beside the river. Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, born into sin.
Oh, 